one problem that's been gradually developing over the years is the decline of the WWE Intercontinental Championship, a championship title first owned by Pat Patterson back in the late 1970s, or mid or early, I don't know, it was sometime during the 70s, that's all I got to say, and this title wasn't a mid-card title, this title went to the top worker of the promotion, which is why people that didn't get world title exposure, such as Macho Man early on, he, he eventually got it, but he was he started off as a worker, a really good worker, a Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, Rick Rude, a lot of these badass guys. They started, oh, and don't forget Mr. Perfect. Mr. Perfect is pretty much epitomized what this is. Shawn Michaels early on in his career. They were IC champions. That's what they were. But now the Intercontinental Champion, as the Attitude Era kicked in, became more of a mid-card title. You had badass mid-carders such as the Godfather holding it or Val Venus. And I'm thinking that's cool and all edge, Christian. But it's not at the same level as Top Worker. And when I look at WWE now, fans want the Top Worker to be WWE Champion, which sometimes gets in the way of WWE's vision because the World Champion sometimes should be the most mainstream, the most top, the most fire guy, the most commercial guy. That's a problem here in WrestleMania 30 and actually WrestleMania 31, which is this year, because 30 last year we had Batista versus Randy Orton, and fans rejected it, so they had to make it Batista versus Orton versus... Daniel Bryan, and Daniel Bryan ultimately ended up winning because he was a fan favorite, because he was the top worker, and he got it, because he was over like that, because he was the one that was busting his ass the most out of both of those two, and pretty much, Batista just came back, he won the Rumble, and just like that, he was going straight to WrestleMania. Roman Reigns, he came back from an injury, started cutting some bullshit promos against the Big Show. They didn't really do anything special together. Same with him and Kane. And, bam, he wins the Rumble, and he goes straight to Mania. They had to, like, count over Daniel Bryan into Fastlane to give us an opportunity to worry. Is Daniel Bryan going to be the challenge that... Stops Reigns from getting to Lesnar. They had to add some intermediary shit so that, well, Roman Reigns is more believable. That's what they had to do. And it shouldn't be like that. It should... It shouldn't be that, uh... The top worker always has to get a WWE title opportunity. Because while I love the top worker, uh... He doesn't always need that world title. That IC title used to have some prestige to it. And that's why I think it should go to someone of that level. I mean, The Rock, Stone Cold, Triple H. They were, in many ways, top workers right before they got their world title opportunities. I think that... Nowadays, it's become even worse where it's not just that it's downgraded to a mid-card position. It's become a jobber title, a mid-card jobber title, a purgatory title. And people such as Kofi Kingston and The Miz epitomize that. They are not 
as much as I like them, they are not on that level yet. They are not top workers. Whereas a Dolph Ziggler, I could understand why you would give him that title. And when Dolph Ziggler holds that title, um, I know it's on my like Facebook news feed. People that aren't really big wrestling nerds, they speak well of him. They're like, oh, this guy's legit. My son Dolph Ziggler is the top champion right now because Brock Lesnar is holding the WWE title and he was never there since he clapped John Cena in SummerSlam back in fall. So obviously the top guy right now, the top champion is Dolph Ziggler who was defending that every week, being that top worker. In my opinion, I like what they're doing with WrestleMania where it it's probably going to be Dean Ambrose versus Bray Wyatt just like it, the rematch it's going to be the rematch but a ladder match this time their first match was a few days ago on Fastlane and I really do think that Dean Ambrose is the top worker now even more so than Daniel Bryan, even more so than Dolph Ziggler, because Dean Ambrose is cool, he's weird, he's out there, and he can turn anything cool, especially with his mic skills. Daniel Bryan, uh, yeah, he's a little charismatic, but he's boring on the mic because he's an ass kisser, because he's swivel as fuck, and because he, quite honestly... He's corny. Like, I can... He can talk about fucking my mo mom, like, throwing the condom out and slapping it on her face and uh, doing all this shit, and I wouldn't be offended because it's Daniel Bryan, and, like, you're the dude from Team Hell No. Although I did love Team Hell No. But those guys are examples of top workers. In my opinion, the top worker is Dean Ambrose. So there will be times where the IC title seems hot again because its purpose is being accepted. And that's what the IC title should represent. It should be that top worker title. And really, it shouldn't be this title that People just hold it because they don't really know what to do with them and they gotta have them job out to the world champion. Right now, if they wanted to be Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar, I think that's a good match. Why? Because it's been hinted at for years. It's been hyped up. Maybe it's a little too late. Maybe the timing isn't perfectly there. However... How many new guys has Brock Lesnar faced since coming back from his seven-year hiatus? He's faced CM Punk, he's faced Seth Rollins, that's it. Other than that, he's just been facing guys he fought in his 2003 SmackDown days. If Eddie Guerrero was still alive and still working in WWE, he'd be facing him in Survivor Series 2014 or 2013 or some bullshit like that, but and don't even get me started if Kurt Angle came back during this Lesnar return, it would be them feuding, no doubt about it. But right now, this is a feud that needs to happen, not Daniel Bryan versus Brock Lesnar. I don't care how good of a worker Daniel Bryan is. This match was never hinted at. This match seems a field. What would the storyline be? What, that Daniel Bryan is an underdog because he's facing some guy who can obviously murder him? That's not good enough. They barely have a story with Roman Reigns, and that's that Roman Reigns is from that Samoan family, the infamous Samoan family that has The Rock in it. We all know what happened with The Rock versus Brock Lesnar. The Rock looked like a little bitch because Lesnar defeated him and there was no rematch. Sure, he was holding his own 
and even looking strong in some points in the fight, but it was no John Cena versus Brock Lesnar 2013, but still, I mean 2014. I hope that doesn't fuck up my frame rate. Point is, that's the match that needs to happen. I don't care that Roman Reigns isn't the best worker right now. He needs to be a little bit more legit. He needed someone to feud with better than just the Big Show and Kane. But, it don't even matter now. Like, it doesn't always have to be the top worker. But I understand the frustrations because... Well, what's Daniel Bryan going to do? A lot of people have hinted that Daniel Bryan is going to face Dolph Ziggler for some reason at Mania. I don't know how that's going to happen. It's the same when they didn't know what to do with Ziggler prior to throwing him in the main event during WrestleMania 3. You're like, oh, we're just going to have him win a second rematch, second WrestleMania rematch, third battle between him and Sheamus. That's a problem. Daniel Bryan should be rewarded as a top worker. The IC title shouldn't have suffered the damage that it did. That way, it would go to the realness right now. And the realness, in terms of top workers, that's Dolph Ziggler, that's Daniel Bryan, that's Dean Ambrose. He should have that title shot down the line. He's already a, what, one, two, three-time WWE champion, four-time world champion in, like, canon terms. Definitely a lot more. He's held all the indie, major indie titles, maybe even more than once from the past. So, he's got a lot of world title gold on him. He's got enough. More so than... Ziggler, and especially Ambrose, in terms of l legit, like, kayfabe canon. I know that's, like, an oxymoron, but that's who it should go to. Right now, uh, that's pretty much what I think on the subject. It's been your boy, Mr. Wonka7. I'm not going to make a long ass closing. I'm just going to say three magic words. Look, say I may and dictate.